how much loose salt should I feed daily? I live in Florida, so my horse occasionally sweats and seems to not drink much. Please help. So, did you take some sort of chemistry when you were in college? Mm, I probably try to avoid that as one of my sciences. Okay, well, <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna do a chem 101 here today. Okay, perfect. And a little bit of math. Okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, according to the NRC, which I quote probably almost every video, it's the nutrient requirements of horses. Um, a horse just standing in a pasture and eating and blinking and breathing needs 10 grams of sodium a day. 10 grams of sodium a day, okay. If that horse is uh, in heavy work, is exercising and sweating, then up to like 40 grams, so four times as much. Wow. Yeah. Now, there's very little sodium and chloride, for that matter, in the horse's regular natural diet, like mm -hmm. hays and pastures and grains. There's just not a lot of salt, not like human food. Yeah. You know, ours <laughs> is loaded with it. And then we should say that salt, the term, is made up of sodium and chloride. Yes. Okay. See? I did take that. <laughs> okay, maybe I did take chemistry. Okay, I'm in. And then now, now it's where it gets hard. There is about, if you look at a molecule of salt, which is sodium and chloride, 40% mm -hmm. of that molecule is sodium. Okay. And 60% is chloride. Okay. You with me? I'm with you. 40, okay. 60, gotcha. Okay. <laughs> so if I am trying to give my horse, um, if I give him 10 grams of salt, mm. how many grams of sodium am I getting? He's I only getting 40% of that. So four. Yes. Right. And I wasn't going to do the math. I can okay, only okay. take 40%. <laughs> yeah. So, so how do I get 10 grams of sodium in my horse? Mm. Doing the math, I have to give him about 28 grams of salt. Okay. Okay. That's about an ounce. Okay. So one ounce of salt. And roughly two tablespoons. Okay. So we'll make this super practical. I can do those things. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So that's what she wanted to know. Now, the problem with salt is, and I'm sure you've experienced this, back in the day when, when we filled up a salt shaker, we put a little rice kernel in mm -hmm. it, right? Because salt is hygroscopic. I love when you use big words in the morning. It means, in the morning, <laughs> it means it attracts water from the air. Okay. And so if you, once you open your, you know, Morton container of salt in the barn, really soon it just turns into a big hard rock yes and you can't use it so the better thing to do is we put salt in pellets to make them tastier mm -hmm. and last longer and be more stable in the environment and you can also buy them at smart packs yeah. and even better and so that's I think it's called smart salt pellets yep and that would be the ideal way to get your horse's daily salt requirement into him with no moss no fuss because even sometimes just like top dressing with loose salts Sometimes it falls at the bottom of the pan, or like horse maybe doesn't like it as much, so yeah. it makes it a little bit more palatable yeah. for them. And then a lot of people are like, well, I'm just going to set out a, a salt block, one of mm -hmm. those big 50 pounders. But those are made for cattle, rough tongues. And some horse, now some horses lick them just fine. Yeah. Um, but even those horses, you don't know how much they're licking. It's like in their full requirement. Yeah. And then there's horses who are like, oh, my tongue, you know, I don't want to. So they don't, they don't lick them. And then they're not getting their daily requirement of salt. So I like her idea of um, loose salt, providing or top dressing salt in some form, mm -hmm. and smart salt pellets is a great way to do it. Okay, so at least an ounce a day to get your guy going.